less than two everyday electrical appliances. Make sure you have your science notebook and you open to a brand new page and you write the title on the top, everyday electrical appliances. If you need to pause the video anytime or rewind it, you may do so. Make sure you're writing everything you down you see on the screen in your science notebook. Make sure you have your supplies with you. So let's get started. So our objective is you're going to write the objective right underneath the title everyday electrical appliances. And the objective is I can identify electrical appliances and the types of electricity they use. Say it out loud with me. I can identify electrical appliances and the types of electricity they use. Now say it one more time with me. I can identify electrical appliances and the types of electricity they use. So how do we know we were successful at the end of this lesson? Well, you're going to be able to identify electrical appliances and non-electrical appliances. You're going to also be able to sort them based on whether they use main or battery power. But first, let's answer the question of what is an appliance. An appliance is a device or a piece of equipment or an instrument designed to perform a task. An example is a washing machine. A washing machine is an appliance which performs the task of washing clothes. The same goes with the dryer. That would be an appliance, and the task is to dry clothes. A thermometer is also an appliance that performs the task of checking temperatures. Can you guys think of other appliances? Think about the different appliances you might have in your own kitchen. It could be the refrigerator, a toaster, a dishwasher, so there's different appliances. Go and go to your kitchen and look around and see which appliance can you point out. Electrical appliances. So you will see this in a seesaw assignment. It will be pictures of different appliances and you will need to sort them out into whether or not they're an appliance and also sort them if they use electricity or don't. So remember, an appliance is a device or a piece of equipment or an instrument that is designed to perform a task. And a thermometer would be an example. Well, this particular type of thermometer will be a thermometer that does not use electricity. But if you're using the new modern thermometer, someone with a power battery, that would be a thermometer that does use electricity. So take a look at the pictures and you'll sort them out. And this will be posted right after the lesson. So the different types of electricity, there are two types of electricity, what we call mains electricity and battery electricity. Main electricity is used, what we use this type of electricity is where you plug in the appliance into the socket. So think of anything that has a charger or an outlet that requires electricity from the socket, and that is mains electricity. Battery electricity, we use this that inserts the battery into appliance, such as a cell phone, a remote control, so anything that requires a battery or has a battery integrated in it. So don't forget to be copying down every slide that you see on the screen in your science notebook. So main electricity is produced mainly by gas, coal, or gas, coal, or nuclear power stations. So here using an example of a gas power station and a nuclear power station. Wind turbines, hydroelectric, and solar panel power stations are used to generate electricity, but to a much lesser extent, so they give out less power. And in the pictures, you will see an example of wind turbines, solar panels, and hydroelectric powder, which is also known as a dam. A small number of homes also have solar panels attached to the roofs, and that provides the main source of electricity. So maybe you have seen, seen these in the road. We have some wind turbines here in California. And you've probably seen some solar panels as well on some homes. So here we have the power station, which is an electric current that is generated and then sent through the wires to a transformer. From the transformer, the current is sent from the transformer along the wires that are attached to the pylons to the city, towns, and villages. 
and the pylons are connected to the first transformer and then the transformer is to near cities and here we see pylons in the countryside. The second transformer connects to the wires in the pylons and in most cases these wires are then placed underground. And these underground wires are connected to the transformer buildings which include homes. And then the wires are taken and then distributed throughout the home. The reason why you don't see them is because they're in the walls. So you will only see the socket attached to the wires on the walls. And this is how we have electricity in our homes. So make sure you do this little drawing in your science notebook and I will be taking a look out. I will be looking for this particular drawing in your notebook. It does not have to be perfect, but you do need to know how electricity goes from the power station into our homes. So let's continue talking about different types of electricity. We have batteries that store chemicals which produce an electric current, and they eventually start working as the chemicals stop being able to produce the electrical current. Rechargeable batteries are ones where the chemical reaction can be reversed, so the battery is able to create an electrical current again. However, even rechargeable batteries will eventually stop producing electric current. So that's why batteries die out, because the chemicals in the battery no longer producing that current. So think of like regular batteries, such as AA, AAA batteries, and then we have those square batteries, and even the car batteries. So all these batteries can die out. This is an assignment that you will receive later on this week. So let's talk about how can we stay safe. So main electricity can be dangerous, causing anything from a minor electric shock to serious burns, and unfortunately, even death. But do we know how to stay safe in our home? This is an additional seesaw assignment post that you guys received today. Please be on the lookout for electricity in your home. It will take you to a website that would give you a short click video on how electricity is in your home and how to be safe. We will stop our lesson here today. Make sure you have written down all your notes, including the drawing. Also, please make sure to receive full credit. All your notes are from this particular lesson in your science notebook. If you need to rewind or pause the video at any time, you may do so. Bye, guys.